Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I did a jazz painting recently, and if you uh, have been following my channel for a little bit, you know that I'm really into to jazz. I started collecting a bunch of records uh, during the pandemic. Watch this video right here if you want to see my thoughts on how jazz is similar to painting. And uh, yeah, so I just uh, did this cool little photo shoot with my friends uh, down in Long Beach that are professional musicians. And yeah, let's take a look at, at what this painting process was like, and I'll talk about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here I'm doing my usual lay-in where I sort of put the interesting textures on, but I didn't do too much on this one. I just sort of got a, a basic wash in and went straight for getting the basic shapes down where the figures are going to be. I'm already putting the skin color in sort of early and trying to get a basic idea of values and, and colors that I want. So I'm sort of thinking about how things are going to work together from the beginning so that I make sure the figures and the background sort of flow together and have um, a good balance. Ain't nothing on earth I wouldn't do for you when I'd cry, baby. Not even close to thinking about any detail at this point. This is all just block in as far as I'm concerned. But you know, if you've seen my other work, you know that I like to keep some of those interesting uh, textures showing through till the end. It was really fun like working on the microphone and the saxophone. Those were different for me. And then in the background here, I really wanted to keep it um, I wanted it to have sort of like a feel that they were playing music, so I tried to add some just gestural strokes that that just sort of gave off a vibe of like a nightclub or playing music. Once I got everything sort of in the right position, I started adding a little bit more detail. It was fun painting her face and just sort of really start to make the painting come alive. I prefer painting faces bigger, like with large brush brushes and stuff, but this was a very small face for me to do, so it took some, some reworking here and there to get it just right. And as you can see, I'm using a pretty small brush for that whole part. Because I put the arms and like the figure in the right spot, I felt confident that I could just leave the hands 
uh, undone and just I knew that I'd be able to like get them in the right spot once I was ready. I used like a darker color to sort of draw in the shape of where the hand was going to be and then started giving it form by adding the lighter colors on top of that and that was a, a good way of sort of making sure I had things in the right place first. And I start enjoy doing hands. I think they're fun. Not always the easiest thing to do, but they're always enjoyable. It's wonderful. It's marvelous. You should care for me. It's awful nice. All paradise. It's what I long to see help but when I'm doing portraits or painting people's faces to make them look like the person so I went back and started really making sure it looked like Jennifer the the singer that I painted just using a very basic brown color here to draw in the eyes it's um, ultramarine blue mixed with transparent red oxide that's sort of my general like brown outlining or painting like drawing color you could also use raw umber or burnt sienna or something like that but that's just what i use it using those two colors together makes it very transparent the ultramarine and the transparent red oxide so i can draw things but it's not really adding a lot of quantity of paint <laughs> I wanted to keep uh, Mando, who's in the background playing saxophone, I wanted to keep him just very loose and just sort of like a general idea that he was there, but he definitely wasn't the focus, so I didn't put a ton of detail in his face. But I did do another painting of him. I don't think I recorded it, but you can check it out on my Instagram page, which is at Talbert Art. Well, that's the painting. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process. And um, just wanted to say again that that was uh, Jennifer and Mando that I painted. And I will have links in the description to their websites so you can check out their music. They're amazing musicians. And uh, yeah, so give them some love. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. It's awful nice, all paradise. It's what I long to see.